In this problem, we're told a 130kg tackler moving at 2.5 meters per second meets head-on and tackles an 82kg halfback moving at 5 meters per second. What will be their mutual speed immediately after the collision? Right? So what we want to do is label the initial and the final. So initial is before they tackle, right? And so we have this one guy, 130 kilograms, moving at 2.5 meters per second, and then another one, 82 kilograms, moving at 5 meters per second, right? And so what's going to happen is they're going to collide, and then they're basically going to become one object, right? So this is called an in, a perfectly inelastic collision, meaning they're just going to become one object after the collision. So they're going to become one object, right? And so they're going to be moving at some speed we don't know what it is, right? So we're going to try and find uh, what speed they're moving at. And also, we want to label their mass. So what is their mass going to be? So if they, if the one's 130, one's 82, and they combine into one, it's just going to be their mass is added up. So 130 plus 82, we want to label that at the end. So 130 plus 82 is 212. So 212 kilograms, that's going to be their mass at the end. And so how do we want to do this? So the way we solve these problems are by using uh, the laws of conservation of momentum, which basically tells us the momentum initially has to equal to the momentum at the end. right? So P initial has to equal P final. But what is momentum? So momentum is mass times velocity. So we want to take the momentum initially, and then we set it equal to the momentum at the end. So the momentum in the beginning, right? So there's two different objects. So it's going to be the mass of velocity, or the momentum of one object, plus the mass and velocity of the second object, right? So you can call m1, v1, m2, v2, equals, and then we have one object at the end. So it's just going to be the mass of the final object, right, times the velocity of the final object, right? And we're going to plug in the numbers, and you'll see how it works. So let's just start with the left side. So what is the mass? So we're going to say this guy's the first object, this is the second object. So the mass of the first object is 130 multiplied by its velocity, which is 2.5. And when we do this, we want to label the right positive, or you can choose, but I'm going to choose the right to be positive and the left to be negative. So this guy's going to be positive and this is going to be negative. So 2.5, right, that's positive, plus its mass, right, which is 82, that's the second guy. And then this guy's velocity is going to be minus 5 because he's going in this direction. So plus minus 5. And we set that equal to the mass of the final object, right? Because it's just one, 212. And then we multiply by its final velocity, which is what we want to find, right? Their speed after the collision. We don't know, so we're solving for that. So all we got to do is, right, just divide by 212. And that's going to give us the final velocity. So you really just want to do 130 times 2.5, right? So plug this in, 130 times 2.5 plus 82 times minus 5, right? And then you're going to want to go ahead and divide by 212. And when you do this, you're going to get V final equals minus uh, 0.4. So minus 0.4, the units are meters per second, right? So they say the speed, the mutual speed. So they're going to be moving at 0.4 meters per second. What the negative sign specifies is that, keep in mind, this guy's negative. So they're going to be moving in this direction. So this guy's going to win or whatever. But essentially, you would say the speed, I don't know if they want you to do it positive or negative, but just 0.4 meters per second, I guess, uh, this just specifies the direction. So this is just the magnitude of it. So... Uh, yeah, so 0.4 meters per second, if you want to include the sign to specify the direction, you can. But uh, 0.4 meters per second, that's going to be their mutual speed, and your answer to this problem. But yeah, hopefully you found this useful.